Okay. Let's all stand at the front of our mats. Our normal roll then to just warm up our spine. So our feet are hip distance apart. And just stand up nice and tall. We are all blessed to wake up on a beautiful day. We're all healthy. We're able to move our bodies. So let's enjoy the moment. Just lengthen up through the abdominals, a little tuck of your pelvis. Pull your shoulder blades down. And before we even do our roll down this morning, let's take some beautiful deep breaths in. Oxygen is free. So let's just revel in that beautiful oxygen that we had this morning. So take a deep breath in through the nose. And big exhale. And again, inhale through the nose. And big exhale. Let's do two more. Let's take a deep breath in. Fill those lungs up with the beautiful oxygen. And let's exhale. One more time. Inhale through the nose. And we exhale. Okay, let's start our roll down. Deep breath in. And as we exhale, let's roll down from the neck and the head. Let the head become nice and heavy. Rounding down into your spine. The arms are hanging down, pulling you down towards the mat. Let the head hang heavy. And reach. You can have your legs straight, feeling that nice stretch in the back of the hamstrings. Or you can soften your knees. It's totally up to you. Keep your abs engaged, pulling up to the ceiling. Inhale. And as we exhale, use your abdominals and roll yourselves up. Keep your shoulders out of your ears. And then re-stack your spine up nice and tall, lengthen through your neck. Inhale. And we exhale, chin to chest, arms pulling you down. Lead with the crown of your head, opening up the back of the ribs. And reaching down. Keep connected into the abdominals. Inhale. And exhale. Pull yourselves up using your abdominals. Relax shoulders. Relax neck. And then vertebra by vertebra. Lengthen up through your spine. And reach up nice and tall. Let's do one more. Inhale. And we exhale. Imagine you're rolling over a big stability ball that's on your thighs. So you don't collapse down. We're rounding over the thighs. Reaching towards the mat. Hold it there. Keep drawing up through the abdominals. Let's bend our knees and we stretch. Bend the knees and stretch. Warming up the legs. Bend the knees and stretch. Keep pulling up and zipping up your abdominals, even though you're warming up the legs. And press. Two more. And press. Last one. And we press. Hold the stretch. Bend the right knee only. Now when we do this, I see some people are almost leaning over to one side. Stay centered. You should feel the stretch up the back of the left leg. Hold it there and switch legs. Bend the left knee. Don't shift your pelvis. Stay even on your hips. And bend the right knee. And bend the left knee. Now bend the right knee. Hold it there. Take your left arm up towards the ceiling. Rotate through the waist. Rotate. Look up towards the ceiling. Try and stay evenly pressed into both feet and slowly come down. Bend your left knee. Reach your right arm up towards the ceiling. Look up at your hand. Try and stay even on both your feet and slowly come down. Let's do it one more time. Bend the right knee. Reaching up towards the ceiling. Getting a beautiful rotation through the spine. Bend the left knee, reaching up towards the ceiling. And slowly 
bringing it down. Just slightly soften your knees, head heavy, draw your abs up towards the back of the spine, inhale and exhale, roll up nice and slowly, nice and slowly, relax the shoulders and then re-stack your waist up on top of your hips and lengthen up. Okay, wide stance. I'm turning to the side. You can stand wherever you like on your mat. Nice wide sumo squat position, like so. All right, take your arms out to a T position. Your feet are externally rotated. Let's warm up. Bend down, press up through the heels. Bend down, pressing up through the heels. Again, bend, press. Try and keep your spine up nice and tall. Press. Inhale, bend. Exhale, squeeze your glutes when you stand up. Squeeze the butt cheeks. Inhale, keep your abs tight, pressing up. Inhale, down. Exhale, press up. Let's do two more. Pressing up. One more, hold it there. Hold, hold. Can we lift one heel up? Take it down. Other heel up. Take it down. Keep your tall spine. Lift. Take it down. Lift, take it down. Two more each side. Take it down. Take it down. One more each side. And lift. Down, now let's pulse. One, two, nice and slow. Three, four, breathe. Five, six, seven, and eight, and nine, and ten. Up we come. Ooh, let's feel the heat through the body and let's march it out. This is not Pilates, but I think we're all a little bit walking and running deprived with our lockdown. So let's march on the spot. Let's march on the spot. Let's get the blood circulating through the body. Let's get the muscles warmed up. Add the arms. Arms. All right, so let's imagine we're doing our beautiful walks that we all love to do, but we're doing it on one spot. So let's march, keep breathing, and march, and march, and march, and march. Let's do five, one, two, three, four, and five, and come back to center. Now, I've even moved my mat, okay. So let's do a little bit, I always like to do a little bit of balancing before we start. So we're gonna practice our balance on one leg, standing up nice and tall. Now. A little tip for those that battle to balance. When you lift your one leg up, squeeze the glute of the standing leg. Activate that standing leg, abs tight, and if you need your balance with your arms, take them out to the side, and slowly lift. Now think of activating, squeezing your, your left glute if your right leg is up, and see if you can balance. Hold it there, hold it there and bring it down, other side. Try and not drop the hip when you lift the opposite leg, squeeze the glute of the opposite or the standing leg, and hold, 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 and take it down. Other side again, let's lift up the right leg, or whichever leg you're lifting, squeeze the opposite glute, activate your standing leg. Can you lift that leg a little higher? Can you lift a little higher? And a little higher. Hold, balance. It's very normal to be wobbling on the standing leg. All the deep internal muscles are working. And bring that leg down. Nice, everyone. Last time, let's lift the left leg up. Activate your right standing leg, lifting it up. And hold. And lift a little higher, and a little higher, and a little higher. Abs are connected, and slowly take it down. Very nice, walk it out. Okay, back into your wide stance. The last of our standing exercises this morning. We're gonna do the standing equivalent of the saw, which we do on the mat. So take your arms out to your T position, Widen your stance. I want you to rotate 
and reach down to the outside of your left foot and then come back up to center rotate turn your back arm reach down to the outside of your right leg and come back up to center nice little straight rotate turn the back arm reach down and back up rotate other side reach down lift your back arm up to the ceiling and back up to center one more reaching down lift the back arm lifting back to center one more time rotate reaching down and back up to center okay let's sit in the middle of our mats now this morning um i don't know how many of you not everybody has worked on pilates equipment that i have in my studio and just by the way if anybody's wondering why i don't video these in my studio it's purely because the wi-fi is a little bit iffy in my studio and i don't want to have the videos cutting out every five minutes it's going to just cause chaos so i'd rather do it with the signal strong so that's the reason and also it's just a beautiful day and i must apologize yesterday when i played it back it was pretty windy okay so anyway but today is good so let's sit on the front of our mats now there's two options here if you can i want you to keep your left leg flat on the mat and lift put your hands behind your right knee and lift your right leg off the mat now the important thing here is a straight lengthened spine so if you cannot keep your back straight and lift your right leg up then you can bend that left leg a little bit so you decide what's best for you most important is the straight back okay so i'm going to keep my leg straight but bend your left leg if you need to now i want you to lift that right leg up as high as you can without leaning back and without rounding into your spine okay now i want you to straighten that leg squeeze your quad and bend now don't arch your back press Please make sure your screens are all muted or your microphones are muted. Press and bend. Somebody's got their mic on. Press and bend. Keep your tall back. Press, stretch that front leg and bend. Two more. Keep your straight tall back. Last one. Now keep it straight. Walk your hand up to your ankle if you can. Pull on your leg and straighten up your spine. Straighten up your spine. Okay, now we're going to walk our hands down our leg. This is a, an equipment version of climb a tree on the reformer. I don't know if any of you haven't been on the reformer, but if you have, you'll recognize this. We're going to walk down our leg. Walk down your leg with your hands. Scoop into your abdominals and come down to a lying down position. Now walk your hands back up and up and up tall spine tall spine let's walk back down walk down walk down walk down walk all the way down your leg until your lower backs on the mat keep your leg lifted and then walk yourselves back up walk back up walk back up straighten your back and let's do that one more time walk down walk down curling into your abdominals and go all the way to the bottom i'm just going to shift it into my mat and have your leg up towards the ceiling flex the foot point flex point flex point one more point now flex the foot and hold let's do little circles inhale two Keep your pelvis stable, abs tight, and press your left leg into the mat and hold. Change direction, inhale. Keep flexing your foot. Two, and three. Last round, four, and circle, hold. Point your toe, lift your head and your chest. Grab hold of your leg. We're gonna walk back up. Walk yourself up, abs tight. 
walk, walk, pull yourself up, stretch out your spines, beautiful guys, bend that leg and bring it down. Okay, other side, we're going to put our hands behind our left knee, straighten up your spine. Remember, you can bend your bottom leg, your right leg if you need to, otherwise straighten it out. Okay, now keep pulling that knee into your chest, stretch that leg and bend. As you stretch it, squeeze the quad of that left leg without leaning back, guys. So keep up nice and tall. Press and bend. Lengthen up. And bend. Two more. Press, squeeze, straighten the leg. Last one. Hold. Walk your hands up to your ankle. Try and straighten your backs. Straighten your backs. Now we're going to walk down our tree. Walk down, curl into your abdominals. Curl, curl, curl. And let's curl back up. Curl, Ooh. and curl, and up, and walk, and lift. Up nice and tall, straight backs. Let's walk back down. Walk down your tree, walk down, walk down. Try and keep the leg lifted, and hold. Walk back up, walk back up. Walk back up, lengthen, let's do one more, and stay down, walk down, walk down, walk down, and keep that leg lifted, press your right leg into the mat, flex the foot, point, flex, point, flex, point, three more, two more, and last one, and keep it flexed, let's do our leg circles across, Inhale. Remember you're working with your hip socket here. Keep your abs tight. It's very hot here today in Cape Town. I'm sweating. I think they say it's 30 odd degrees here today. Hold. And other side. I'm feeling it already. And two. And three. Press your right leg into the mat. Last round. Inhale. And exhale. Hold it there. Bend the leg and bring it down and shake out your legs. Okay, now bend your left leg, take your right leg and cross it over your left leg, like so. So if you're crossing your legs, take your arms out to a T position, and then just take your legs over to the left and look over to the right with your head and feel that lovely stretch through the right side of the body and breathe. Keep a little bit of element of your abs connected. You don't want to pull too much into your lower back, although you will get a beautiful stretch. A little bit into the lumbar spine. Enjoy the stretch. And then slowly bring the legs over and take the legs over to the right now. And look over to the left. And you can use that right leg to kind of press down on your left leg to kind of stretch out a little more. And just breathe through your stretch. Nice. And up to center. Let's switch legs. Take the left leg over the right, cross the legs. And now we're going to take the legs over to the right, look over to the left. And breathe. And take it back to center. Over to the left. Use your left leg to press down onto your right leg. Look over to the right. And breathe. And bring it back to center. Very nice. Uncross your legs. Arms down next to your sides. Feet hip distance apart. We're going to go do a couple of nice pelvic curls. Take a nice deep breath in. Active arms. As we exhale, tuck your pelvis. Peel your spine up. Press into your heels. And slowly lift. Keep the ribs closed, squeeze the glutes. Make sure the inner thighs aren't splaying out. Inhale, exhale, roll yourself down through the spine. Use your breath, all the way down through the spine and release to neutral, inhale. Exhale, tuck under, peeling up, vertebra by vertebra, as if the Velcro is peeling off the floor. And lift, keep the ribs closed, inner thighs connected, inhale. 
and we exhale rolling down nice let's do two more inhale exhale tuck <coughs> and peeling up a little activation of the glutes inhale use your arms nice active arms and exhale slowly down <coughs> and down last time inhale and we exhale all the way up and lift and lift inhale and we exhale all the way down good work and release okay i want you to take your right leg up to tabletop left leg to join <coughs> excuse me all right I want you to reach your arms all the way back all the way back now in this position make sure that that lower back is not arching okay so abs nice and tight lengthen your spine feel that lovely stretch in your shoulders we're going to start with our hundreds prep and go straight into our hundreds so take a breath in as you exhale lift your arms your head your chest and reach your arms as if you're trying to touch the end of the room and look through your thighs. Curl your chest up and we inhale back down. Exhale, we lift. And inhale, we go down. Exhale, we lift. Keep your legs in 90 degrees and inhale back. Exhale, we lift. Curl the chest up as high as you can. Reach your arms and inhale down we're going to do two more and then you're going to stay up and take it down last one exhale we lift now hold it there now we're going to pulse our arms and then i'm going to move my feet and my legs in different positions feel free to stay in this position or follow me so take a breath in exhale inhale Exhale, keep curling up the chest, pulse the arms, nice strong arms. Work with conviction here, pulse. Now if you can, take the legs out. Okay, make sure you don't arch your lower back. If you can't keep the lower back down, then go back to here. Okay, otherwise, a little bit of extra oomph here. Pull that belly button down towards the mat and pulse the arms and breathe. Now bring the legs up to the ceiling and curl the chest up inhale keep breathing and take them down to diagonal squeeze the abs keep pulsing bend the legs to tabletop and pulse keep curling up look through the thighs last round hold inhale keep lifting keep lifting and take the arms all the way back Stretch it out, bring your right leg down, left leg down, stretch, 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 and just breathe, very, very nice. Okay, let's bring the arms down, <clears throat> I want you to roll over onto your tummies. So we're going to do a little back extension in the middle of our session, okay, we normally do it at the end. But I just feel that in today's times, we spend a lot of time sitting. So I think back extensions we should actually do a little bit more of. So we're going to do two back extensions in today's class. So what I want you to do is lie on your tummy. I want you to put your forearm in front of you. Put your right arm on top. Or put your hand, sorry. Left hand down, right hand on top of left hand. And then put your forehead on top of your hands. All right. Now we're not relaxing on the beach here, so pull your belly button up towards the back of the spine. Okay, so your bottom ribs and your pubic bone are on, on the mat, but think about pulling your belly button off the mat. So have that feeling, nice tight abs. Now we're going to lift the head and the arms at the same time. So when you're ready, keep your abs tight. Inhale, lift the head and the chest up. Now, don't go too high if you feel it in your lower back. I want you to think about your upper and your mid back. So don't go up so that you're taking it into your lower back. And then take the head and the chest down. Inhale, we lift. 
Think of your upper back. Exhale down. Inhale, we lift. And exhale, we go down. Keep squeezing your belly button off the mat. Lift, inhale. And exhale down. Let's do one more and hold it up. Inhale, now hold it there. I want you to take your arms out to a T, uh, not a T position, a goal post position. So this is a bit of an improvisation on pulling straps on the reformer. I want you to pull your elbows down towards your waist and press out and pull down towards your waist. Squeeze your belly button, take them out. Just take them back to goal posts. So pull down and out, keep lifting the chest. Think about your upper back, mid back. Pull, lengthen your neck and out. Pull and out. We're working the rhomboids, mid back and hold it there. Now put your left hand on top of your right hand and take your head down. Deep breath and we lift and take it down. And we lift and take it down. Last one, we're going to hold it up and lift. Now take your arms out to aeroplane arms. Now this is pulling straps two on the reformer. Pull your arms down next to your thighs. Lengthen your chest and take them out keep lifting the chest pull the arms down to the thighs and back to airplane arms keep your chest lifted abs tight pull the arms down and take them back three more pull and take them back two more and back last one squeeze your abs pull and back bring your arms back and head down onto your hands well done. Just put your hands next to your head. Press yourself back and stretch it out. And breathe. Good work. How are we all doing? We all okay? Good. All right. So from here, I want you to kneel up onto your mat like so. We're going to do thigh stretch. We can do this on the Cadillac and the Reformer. We're doing it on the mat today. I want you to imagine, we've all done this before, a rod through the crown of the head to the sacrum. Arms forward. Now, think about a posterior tilt in your pelvis. And you're going to pull back, but I don't want you to arch into your back like so. So keep everything nice and rigid. You also don't want to drop your, your, your butt down. So, nice tall spine, little bit of a posterior tilt. And we pull back, feel the stretch. Pull up using your quads. Inhale back. Pull up with the quads. Inhale. Doesn't have to be a big movement. Pull back. Let's do three more. Pull back. Nice, everyone. I'm watching you. Two more. Pull with the quads. And last one. And up. Well done. Now turn, well actually it doesn't really matter, I'm turning to the side so that you can see me. We're going to do a little bit of an improvisation for arms kneeling side on the reformer. So some of you will know this, except obviously we don't have any straps to pull, but yet we, we're still going to be working through the arms. So hip distance apart with your, your knees, alright, left arm down next to your leg. Take the right arm across. Now imagine, I want you to move with conviction. So we're not just kind of flinging the arm up and down. I want you to imagine that you're pulling on a band or a strap. All right. So imagine this is kind of a sword. You're pulling the sword out of its sheath and you're reaching up. And then you're putting your sword back down across. And we lift the elbow, forearm, reach. Wrist, forearm, and come down. Elbow up, pull, stretch the arm, and then bend. Bring the hand down, elbow follows. Again, pull up, and reach, and pull down, and sword goes back. Let's do two more. Up and stretch that shoulder. Be mindful of your abs. Be mindful as you pull up that the, the shoulders on up 
at your ears, reach and put your sword all the way back in. Now take that right hand, place it against the side of your right of your face, not your right face, your face, right cheek. Okay. Now fingers pointing up. We're going to scrape the side of the head, reach up and look up at your hand, and then pull it back down as if you're pulling against a band. And we press up, look up, open your chest, and pull all the way back down. And we press up, look up at your hand, and pull it down. Last one, pressing up, reach, and pulling down. Now take your arms out, okay? Normally on the reformer, we'd have a, a, a strap in one hand. We're gonna pull the arms up to the ceiling, make sure the shoulders aren't up at your ears, and back down. Reach those arms, pull the arms up. So do this and think about keeping your shoulder blades pulling down and reach the arms and pull up and take them out. Two more, reaching up and take them out. Last time, reaching up and out. Bring the arms down. Let's move to the other side. So right hand down, left arm on your sword. We're going to pull the elbow up, forearm, and reach. Elbow all the way down. Elbow, forearm, lift. And forearm, elbow down into the sheath. And pull elbow up and reach and stretch. And take the arm down. Two more. Pull up and stretch. And take it down. Last time. Elbow up. Stretch and reach, shoulders down, and take it all the way down. Arm down. Oh, sorry, next to your head. Sorry. Okay, we're shaving the side of our head, and we reach up, look at the sky, and take it down. Pressing up and reach, open your chest. Abs tight, always. And we're pressing up, and take it down. Two more, reach, and take it down. Last one. We're pressing up, and we take it down, arms out, and we reach to the sky, and take it down. If you like, you can look up. You don't need to. Reaching up to the sky, and take it down. Pull the shoulder blades down, and lift, and take it down. Move with conviction. We're not just flopping about. Two more. Reach to the sky, and pull the shoulders down. One more. Reaching it up. And take it down. Well done. Roll out your shoulders. Good. Just a little bit of a shoulder stretch arm movement this morning. We haven't done a lot with our arms. Okay. Now, what I want you to do, we're going to do a little bit of side movement. So make sure you're in the front, middle of your mat. Okay. Deep breath in. I want you to take your left arm out and go to the side and push yourself back up. Other side. Reach to the side. And push yourself back up. Over to the side. And push yourself back up. And over to the side. And push yourself back up. Over to the side. Now hold it there. Hold it there. Can we lift that leg up? Lift the leg up. Take the top arm behind your head. Look straight ahead. Abs tight. And let's drop the leg down. Lift. Down. Lift that leg as high as you can. Down. Shh. Down. Keep your ribs closed. Down. Lift. Down. Shh. Last two. Last one. Hold. Hold it up. Can we do little circles forward? Forward. Shh. Woo. Keep the leg as high as you can. And hold. Circle back. Circle. Two, glutes are burning. Three and four. Keep the leg lifted. Five, last one. And six, hold it there. Hold it there. Is your leg shaking? And push yourself all the way back up. Nice work. All right, let's go over to the other side. <laughs> I've got Brittany over here doing the mat class, and she's moaning that her glute is sore. <laughs> okay, over to the other side. Take that leg out. You're leaning on your hand or your arm. Open up the shoulder 
and let's lift the leg up and hold it there. Up nice and high. Now we're gonna tip it down and lift. Down. Nice work. Open your chest. Abs tight. And we lift. Down. Down. Lift. Two more. Down. Lift. Last one. Down. And lift. Hold. Little circles. One. Circle forward. Two. Three. Woo. And four. And five. And six. Circle back. One. And two. And three. And four. And five. Hold. 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 Lift higher. And well done. Oh my goodness. Roll and come down. Let's just stretch out those glutes that we just worked. So we're going to go into a bit of a bretzel stretch. So try and see if you can, well, one leg is in front. Take your other leg over, like so. Ah, I can feel the glutes already. Okay, now take the opposite arm to the leg in the front and put your hand behind you and rotate. Try and drop that hip down, both hips down, so that you feel that stretch. If you can't get into this position with your legs, then you're welcome to lie down and do a figure of four stretch for your glutes by putting your one leg on top of the other. But try and get a bit of rotation, pull on that knee with your forearm and breathe. You should feel that glute stretching. And release, other side. So we're gonna take the leg over, pull your forearm against that front knee and rotate. Lengthen up your spine and breathe. Just keep breathing. Nice. And slowly release. Well done, okay. Not too much to go now. We won't do a very long class today, but I want us to go into our four-point kneeling position. Good old bird dog. And then I'm going to take bird dog to a different level, a more advanced level. If you don't want to do the advanced level, stick with the normal level. Okay. So first is our normal bird dog. Abs tight. Lengthen your spine. Right arm reaches, left leg out, and take it down. Left arm, right leg, reach, take it down. Make sure your belly button's nice and tight. No sinking into the lower back. Try and keep your hips stable as you shift from one to the other. Reach, and down, and reach, and down. Now, if you wanna take it to a higher level, do this, otherwise continue the way I did it. You're gonna lift your knees off the mat. All right, now can we take right arm, left leg, and take it down. Left arm, right leg, take it down. Right arm, left leg, take it down. Woo, I'm even doing it badly this morning, and take it down. Right arm, take it down. Left arm, take it down. Right arm, take it down and left arm take it down down we go and rest position deep breath and up let's do a cat stretch deep breath in exhale round your back inhale neutral and exhale open your chest inhale to neutral Exhale, curling up. Press the floor away. Inhale to neutral. Exhale, open the chest. And inhale, neutral. One more. Rounding your spine. And neutral. And exhale, open your chest. And neutral. Right, we're going to go into a plank. If any of you can't plank on your forearms, on your hands you're welcome to go down onto your forearms and just hold your plank for the rest of you do what i'm doing so shoulders above your wrists knees hip distance apart 
Take your right foot back. Stabilize. And lift into your plank. Press the floor away. Now without dropping your hips, pull the knee into the chest. Take it back. Left leg, pull into the chest. Take it back. Right leg in. Take it back. For those on your forearms, just hold your plank. And take it back. Take it back. Nice and slow and controlled, guys. Don't rush this move. One more each side. Take it back. Last one. Take it back. Hold. Right knee down. Left knee down. And stretch it back. And take a deep breath in. And up. Okay. Last exercise for the morning. We're going to do what we call a double leg kick. So I want you to lie on your tummies. I hope you can all see me. Let me just bring this down. I don't know if this has shifted. I hope you can all see me. Here we go. All right. Lie on your tummies. I want you to interlace your hands and place them up onto your mid back, like so. Your legs are together or they can be slightly apart if you really are uncomfortable. Pull your belly button up towards the spine and turn your head, well, first of all, to the side that you can see me, just so that you can see what I'm doing. Now lift your legs off the mat, but keep them straight. Squeeze your abs. Now we're gonna kick the legs. One, two, three, and then stretch the arms, Look, lift the chest, and look down at the mat. Then you bring your hands back, turn the other side, kick, one, two, three, reach, lift the chest, stretch the arms, take the hands back, turn to the other side, kick, shh, 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 reach, squeeze your abs, lengthen your arms, other side, and breathe, reach, other side, Reach, both legs kick together and kick. One, two, three, reach. And kick, one, two, three, reach. Last one. And reach. And come down, hands down. Well done. Press back into your, ups, uh, into your rest position. Hold it there and breathe. Big deep in, breath in. I'm battling to speak this morning, I don't know why. I'm talking gibberish. I think I'm suffering from cabin fever a little bit. I'm actually speaking different languages. I don't know what I'm speaking. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we plow forward. Okay, let's tuck our toes under. And let's press up into our upstretch position. Press your heels down towards the back of the mat. Feel that stretch in the back of the legs. Press your chest through the arms. Lift your belly button up towards the sky. And hold that position. Let's do some prancing. So one heel lifts. One heel lifts. Like you're prancing on the reformer. Lift. Feel the stretch in the Achilles. Back of the calf. Prance. Prance. Two more each side. And one more. And press both heels down. Stretch it out. I'm slipping. Now, like an elephant stretch on the reformer, keep your feet flexed. For those who don't have such tight hamstrings, otherwise just walk your feet in. But if you can keep your legs straight, walk in. Walk in. Walk in. Walk in. Walk. 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 See if you can get your feet next to or in between your hands and stretch it out and breathe and then just soften your knees flop your head down relax your arms just nod your head up and down turn your head from side to side 
and then take a deep breath and as you exhale roll yourself up relax the shoulders re-stack your spine up nice and tall inhale and exhale and stretch inhale use your abdominals to pull you up nice and slowly all the way up and lengthen up nice and tall thank you guys well done good work